All right, everyone, it's time for a mini celebration, but uh, not major celebration. Klaus Schwab is stepping down from the WEF, the World Economic Forum that he helped to co-found, actually. And uh, he's, he's calling it quits as their head, so there will be someone else in there. That's The bad news is, just because Klaus Schwab leaves doesn't mean that the bastard that comes next isn't going to be just as globalistic, eat the bug, sleep in the pods, the green new scam, and stuff like that. It'll be par for the course, so don't don't get too happy about it. But it is fun to see a dude who likes to dress up and cosplay as a Star Wars villain um, leaving. Because, I mean, he has been particularly pernicious. Of the sort of rank and file of the upper echelon of the globalists, Klaus Schwab is right up there with the major baddies. You know, he's he's literally the, the Zabugs man for a reason. And he also sounds like a villain, too. He missed his calling. He'd be quite uh, quite good. Uh, Disney could hire him for the next uh, Star Wars film, you know, something like that. Maybe they could make another Ewok movie where he tries to enslave the Ewoks and uh, he, he convinces them to sell themselves into slavery by convincing them that Endor is going to become the next Tatooine if they don't do what he says. That'd probably be... You imagine that plot line. Man, somebody should make that with AI. That'd be a hilarious little uh, mini-movie. But, yeah, him being gone won't change anything. All of the globalists, a lot of times people say, like when, when some, you know, tyrant or globalist keels, uh, they, they get all happy about that. Like when John McCain died, it's like, oh, these people are a dime a dozen. There's plenty of war hawks, there's plenty of eats of bugs, there's plenty of sleep in the pods people up there that want to abuse us. Uh, unfortunately, there will always be that rung of society of very rich, vapid individuals that seek to take advantage of the public by fooling them. And that is what they're doing. The World Economic Forum has devolved to the point where basically it's nothing more than a propagandistic cudgel to try to grift money on one hand and sell people snake oil on the other. Hmm, the world is marginally warming. I know, let's mine more lithium in China. You know, does that ring a bell? That's what they're pushing right now with the EV revolution. You need to uh, downsize your lifestyle. Clearly, the way in which we will have better use of resources is for the rich to continue having a lot of shit and for you to, you know, eat out once less a month or something like that. It's, 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 your, your efforts will change the world. No, they won't. It's nimbyism. They've, so they've, what they've done is they've perverted the left especially from hippy-trippy survivalists into nimbyist yuppies. They've, they've turned them into the Reagan generation where they've made them materialistic. It's just buy, buy the materials that profit us more especially profit us uh, through foreign shores where our tax rates are lower. Why do you think they're all invested so heavily in China and India, for example? Uh, he's calling it quits. Good riddance. Uh, he'll still be uh, in the background, though. You know, he's the sort of person who, if he can't be Saruman, he'll be just fine as Grima Wormtongue. And he'll just be the little go-between. He'll lean in and look at your paperwork. You know, you, now you're the ranking globalist. He's like, I've got a few suggestions for you. You know. Something like that. It'll be funny. Or maybe he uh, retires completely and he just, you've got pictures of Klaus Schwab on the beach still in his Star Wars getup. That would be funny as well. Not necessarily the most meaningful news because globalism marches on, but he's one of the figureheads of it. It's sort of like with George Soros and some of these, and the Bush family. You've got a number of people who are just particularly out there and they sort of represent globalism. It's sort of like uh, analyzing yesterday. Now, Joe Biden is effectively the face, literally and figuratively, of establishmentarianism, of the system itself, the, the corrupt, non-working, fudgy system of neoliberalism that the United States is laboring under currently, uh, after we decided to abandon things like free market capitalism in order to enslave people more. He represents that, both figuratively and as a literal icon of it. Like, his face could be next to the entry for neoliberalism quite easily on Wikipedia. Klaus Schwab would be the same for globalism. Him and a few other people, again, Soros and some of those. He stepped down too. George Soros, he finally said, well, you know, now that I'm pushing a hundred years old, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm keep having to get blood transfusions and shoot up adrenochrome and just to stay alive. Maybe I want to spend a few years just, you know, not doing the whole grifting on people thing. I mean, I've made billions of dollars and shit. Everyone knows who I am. But I really just kind of want to sit on the beach and eat pizza. <laughs> or, or children's brains, possibly. We're, we're not ever sure of these people, too. By the way, interesting concept. 
Serial killers exist at all echelons of society. How many of these people do you think have ever killed somebody and gotten away with it? I think that it's probably in the double-digit range for these high-level globalists. I think that the sort of stereotypical rumors about them being completely psychopathic in some cases are not just jokes. I don't know that it's Klaus Schwab, but I'm sure that there's more than one person who's sat in at the World Economic Forum who's gone to a rape farm in Slovakia or something like that. They, they went to the hostel in Romania and uh, paid a pretty penny to saw up a tourist or something like that. Now, those places probably actually exist. That's the sick part about it. It uh, sort of ties in with that. That movie was a little bit on the brutal side, even for me. It was uh, uh, pretty rapey. Mm. Then watch Human Centipede 2. Yeah. That one got mixed reviews. I happened to enjoy it because it was basically a giant troll of the audience of the original movie. I know I've gone off the deep end bothering to talk about it. I'm just talking about the, uh, uh, the uh, things that the globalists uh, allegedly get up to. He's called it quits. Now we see who replaces him. Probably somebody worse. Much like with George Soros' son taking over, and he's like, the, the, he's a young whippersnapper of 60 or something like that. Uh, they, 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 I'm a god, they, they, then there's more youth and vigor and, and less cognitive impairment in the people who are leading this charge towards global tyranny. That should worry people more. Uh, having the old fogies running the show is probably better for the public because then they'll make more mistakes, potentially. That's about all. Peace out.